presidency reveals person who leaked Buhari's Monday speech has been caught. President Mohamed Buhari's special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, has claimed that the person who leaked his principal draft speech hours before his last nationwide broadcast has been caught. Adeshina revealed this in a piece titled Enemies of the State. Four hours before Buhari's speech, a copy was already in circulation on social media. He said the individual has been traced and is now paying for his evil action. Adeshina wrote, if the person that leaked the unedited draft of the broadcast had access to more sensitive national documents, he would do the same thing. If he cuttings on information that could sell Nigeria to the enemy, he would gladly do it. That art in the midst of falls, watch and pray. Igbo people speak of proverbial lizard that ruined his own mother's funeral. That was what the hidden hostile hand did. But he forgot that in these days of technology, almost everything leaves a trail. Before the end of that evening, computer evidence had narrowed down the suspect and he was already answering for his evil action. Buhari addressed the nation on Monday during which he extended the lockdown in Abuja, Lagos and Ogumba another week. The president also announced strategy for an ease of the lockdown and docks to dawn curfew from Monday 4th. So, my people, this is the news I'm reaching us at the moment. Femi Adeshina um, is, is excited or um, he has announced to Nigerians that um, he has finally arrested or they finally um, held the person that um, leaked um, President Buhari's speech. But um, Nigerians have different opinion about all of this because it looks like um, Buhari himself is surrounded by incompetent hands. It's really strange to, to find out how that um, speech actually got out and um, let's hear um, some of these um, opinions i learned from a news report that the person who leaked president buhari's um, speech has been caught now and is answering for his thought actions for me it's a good development because the leakage was a huge embarrassment not just to the presidency but to the nation as a whole if this fellow whom i believe must be enlightened is an independent person who has nothing to do with the government, then he must have been very silly, insensitive and unintelligently audacious to distort the content and leak the prepared speech of the president of his country and still assume that he will not be caught. If he works with Buhari-led government and still had the effrontery to humiliate it in such a manner, then his true definition of a saboteur that should be punish. No government or institution that's what its name tolerates dual loyalty because it leads to destructive sabotage. If you are not ready to be loyal to the government you are working for or with, the right thing to do is to quit so that you would not have the unhindered freedom to express your disproval where necessary. If you are with the government and you are delusioned with unhealthy developments in the government, but you do not want to quit, there are two options left for you. One, express your, your opposition or feeling of resentment through the appropriate channels and honorable seek that things should be rightly done. Or number two, maintain absolute silence and disease from internal sabotage. There's a saying that the greatest enemy is the enemy within. This is an error of era of technology so it's really not very easy to run without leaving traces i hope that has just happened to this individual teaches lesson to others and serves as a deterrent to those who might be planning to experiment it this is really embarrassing a supposed live broadcast it shows the nature of the president's handlers have you not caught the person that failed to vet the list where a dead man was nominated for appointment before it was sent? Let Buhari know this would be the way forward if he was speaking on live television as his mates are doing where they wouldn't need to leak any draft. Whoever leaked the draft is a national hero. 
it is either Buhari allows a press conference or send the draft to the people. Wow. This person feels otherwise. But um, one key thing here he mentioned is that um, they are, they were very quick to arrest um, the the person that leaked this um, this draft um, broadcast. Have they not um, arrested the person? You know, when um, the, the news broke out that um, a dead person was nominated in a committee and the um, presidency spoke immediately and said, oh, it was a, an error. That um, list had been done. Uh, prior to the time when, when the guy was still alive and he passed on. So if the person passed on, they were not updated to edit that list. He's saying that that person should be arrested to be arrested as well for questioning because it's an embarrassment too. Because if you feel whosoever leaked the, the president's speech has embarrassed the whole nation, whosoever was handling that list as well has embarrassed the whole nation, and he de he, he, de he speaks volume. He tells a lot of the, the kind of people that the presidency is surrounded with, the kind of incompetent hands. He shows that they are very incompetent. We don't really know. This person was not disclosed. Now, we don't even know what we're dealing with. Additional didn't disclose. If this, um, this leak came from an insider or it was from outside, we are not sure. We know maybe very soon we're going to get um, that, that information. But uh, President um, Buhari and the presidency, they should be ready for this. Because it looks like they are, they are not even safe. Presidency is not safe. Because a lot of things are going to be coming out very soon. The things that they've been hiding. Who knows this is the fear that um, Adeshina has. And maybe these are his concerns. To say that um, and they, they, they have to get this person. Finally, they got the person. He's so excited about it. And he has announced it to... Um, the whole of Nigeria. What about if uh, um, another another leak comes out of something that is really, really that that is really a uh, um, a sensitive information and classified that affects Nigerians? What's going to happen to President Muhammadu Buhari? Uh, Pre President Muhammadu Buhari needs to step up as well. His speeches and everything, the way he gives the broadcast, we can see that a lot of people gave a backlash that that broadcast didn't look real. Some thought it was recorded. Even Adeshin has stated somewhere that um, that that uh, the, the speech was leaked right before they recorded it. So it means what they played to Nigerians was recorded. I, I'm sure he didn't take note of that statement when he was releasing that statement and he spoke about recording. You see, sometimes the truth never hides. There is a way you don't even know when it comes out to the public. That just came out. Uh, uh, unknowingly to him and that, that information is with Nigerians at the moment so that person is in, in presidential net however but he has done something that um, will put presidency under check they know right now that um, they are not even safe you see security we have been talking about presidency cannot even secure his, his own cabinet they are not even secure see people that want to secure the whole nation now um they, they are trying to it's a scapegoat they are they're using that person as a lesson to anyone who wants to try that kind of thing it's a it's our country it's a very country that's that's those are the kind of things we see in our country it's quite worrying quite embarrassing as well because we know addition has stated it that um, the, this nation the world we live in is a technology age information flies the news is everywhere everyone would have heard it other nations would have heard it that um, presidential speech leaked and all of that what a shame what an embarrassment as well so my people that's the news i'm reaching us at the moment please we do want you to leave your take share your thoughts as well if you think um, that person um, should be arrested dealt with if you felt that person was a hero some people felt that um, he was a hero someone said whosoever leaked the draft is a national hero wow they are they are praising that person that is a is a national hero so um yeah that's what some people feel that's their opinion but to me what, what i feel in this is that um it's really a shame that uh, uh, the presidency is really surrounded by incompetent hands to be to they are not really they, they are not looking into details into what they are doing so do leave your take leave your comment let us know what you feel and then um, right below in the comment section we'll be more than happy to get on with a healthy conversation with you we want to take this time to say thank you to everyone that have subscribed to us please if you haven't yet subscribed do click on the subscribe button down below and also do um hit on the like button do give us a thumbs up just to let us know you do appreciate what we're doing so till i come your way again is bye for now and god bless Yes.